So you're about to start an NPH or you're thinking about it. You're not quite sure what to expect. Here's the lowdown. Every NPH is a little different. The masters in public health that you're doing may have a focus on global health or epidemiology and biostats or a strong anthropological focus. Some MPHs have a very strong skills focus and others have a strong research focus and might be getting you ready to do a PhD if you want to follow an academic track. Whatever MPH program you're in, there'll be a broad range of public health disciplines covered and you'll be able to lean into the areas that most interest you. So don't worry too much about what university you're in. You'll be able to get out of this MPH just what you want. Now, you might have an idea of what you want to get out of the MPH and you might have an idea of what you want to do next. That's great. Or you might be using the MPH to get a sense of the range of possibilities that are out there. That's fine as well. So I'll talk to you a little bit about the subject and the disciplines that you're going to be exposed to during the MPH. Firstly, there are the sciences that underpin public health. And first and foremost amongst these is epidemiology. In my opinion, epidemiology is the science that underpins public health. It's the study of the distribution of states of health and the distribution of drivers that cause those states of health and the causative relationship between the two. All of public health is built on a foundation of epidemiology. So if you learn nothing else, make sure that you learn your epi. In your career, you might get away with not really knowing a lot about statistics or health economics, but you will not get away with not understanding epidemiology. So other subjects that you'll learn other than epidemiology are statistics, health economics, behavioral economics, anthropology, health policy, health systems, and others. But these are the core ones that you're going to have to learn. From there, you get an understanding of the domains within which public health professionals work. So we often think of these domains as health protection, health promotion, health services improvement, and health intelligence. Health protection focuses on infectious disease threats like outbreaks, pandemic preparedness, antimicrobial resistance, and other hazards like climate change. Health promotion or health improvement addresses how to enable and facilitate healthy choices like smoking cessation. Health services improvement focus on how to deliver health care. Issues dealt with here are how to ensure that health care is provided to the most vulnerable and hard to reach people in the community. And health intelligence is about how to use data to inform public health actions and health policy. If your MPH has got a global health flavor, then you're going to address other issues like the global health landscape. You'll learn about UN agencies like the WHO, UNICEF, UNAIDS, funding organizations like the Global Fund for AIDS, TB and Malaria, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, USAID, DFID and others. You're going to learn about access to medicines in low and middle income countries and the importance of some of the World Trade Organization's multilateral trade agreements like the TRIPS agreement, which is the trade related aspects of intellectual property. You're going to learn about maternal, newborn and child health, human human rights and health, global health treaties like the IHR and the FCTC. So there's lots of things that you're going to learn about the global health space if that's what your MPH focuses on. You're also going to be introduced to research and the scientific method. In order to practice evidence-based public health, you need to be able to read and understand the scientific literature. And within your MPH, you're likely to be asked to undertake some research yourself and produce a thesis or a capstone project at the end of your MPH. Now, the starting point with any research is always to look at what's been done, what has already been studied, what has been published. So you're going to have to learn and you're going to have to become good at doing literature review. Now, that's a nice segue into me just saying this. This channel is sponsored by Nested Knowledge. It's an online platform that makes doing a literature review an absolute pleasure. I didn't know about Nested Knowledge when I did my MPH and I wish that I had. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you check them out. There's a link in the description below this video. Click on it, go and check them out. You won't regret it. Now, the next video that I want you to watch is how to survive your MPH. I've got lots of advice, lots of tips and tricks. So watch that. Until then, don't do drugs, always do your best. Don't ever change. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.